Hello and welcome to Gearock Farms. It's a wonderful morning here on the farm. I just finished feeding the dry grain to all the cattle here in the calf barn. I'm gonna throw out some hay and then we're gonna go take care of the bull barn as well. And then it will be on to the dairy barn feeding up silage and grain in there as well. Morning, Mariska. And then also, since I'm down here, I'm gonna clean out all the waterers. Now, they don't get super, super dirty, but um, they get a lot of hay in them just because they're near all the feed. So I'm just gonna work my way down the line and clean the three on this side. That side stays really clean because those calves don't eat a lot. Pretty small, yep. So I clean these out, come up here, take the lid off, flip the lever down to keep it in the lock position. And I throw out all that water and I grab some hay and I kind of use the hay as a brush scrub out any of the build up in there and you flick your water back on give it a good rinse slosh it around put it back in there flip your lever back into the off position or the unlock position and then it'll fill up. And then you take your lid, throw your lid back on, good to go. And there's a leveling system in there that will automatically shut the water off. If you want to learn more about these waters, we do have, I think, two different videos where we covered them a bit more in depth, working on them and how to adjust them and set them. The calf barn is taken care of. Now on to the bull barn. Looks like our new bull is doing okay. He's putting on some size now, so, but he uh, seems like he's fitting in. Okay, now we're up in the silo. Dad's down there, he just fed the grain. He's messing with the, the gutter right now, running some manure out. But we're gonna throw it on the silage so then we can feed up the silage in the dairy barn and then start letting the cows in.
is a good representation of what we're feeding them here in the dairy barn. We got some of that corn silage out of the silo, a little bit of a grassy alfalfa baled up, and then she's already finished off her dry grain, which if you've watched all our videos, you've seen us make that with our, uh, our Gale 100 uh, grinder mixer. Just a, a dry grain mix, corn, oats, some minerals and so that's how we supplement their diet during the grazing season but a lot of their nutrients come from the grass but that's what we're giving them in the barn to incentivize coming home and to add on to what they're already getting out on pasture so we've been milking now for the past half hour or so that's been going really well we just switched the cows the extra cows we had so those are getting milked right now my brother mason he's out here helping so i'm going to take advantage of that and I'm gonna run up to our back 40 and check our uh, our heifers and our dry cows on pasture. Make sure all of them are accounted for, check the water, things like that. Look everything over, make sure it's good to go. So we're gonna head up there with the Honda four-wheeler. River's excited, I think she's gonna come with. You ready to go for a run? Heck yeah. Let's go uh, check the cows, huh? Sweet. Oh, and it even hangs there nice. If y'all remember the old gate, it was, it was starting to rust apart and we were uh, had to lift it every time we wanted to open it. This hinge is really nice now and it's a lighter gate, which we don't really need a heavy gate here because there's not a lot of pressure from the cattle. It's really nice. Nice upgrade. So we gotta find 24 of them. And I think I can see a couple uh, white specks through the trees there on the on the other side of the tree line so hopefully uh, most of them are together it's cool enough yet to where they shouldn't be in the woods so let's head over there and find them river come on let's go <laughs> to put a camera on river she is all over the place jumping through the grass she's really enjoying it looks like we got a big group of them here we got one two three four five six seven here everybody there looks happy Looks like we got a couple of the heifers over here. So seven over there, three here, that gives us 10. And then we got a bunch more of them down here in the trees coming up. During the summer months when the cattle are on pasture, things we're looking out for is anybody getting close to calving, bagging up, checking for any other kind of problems. Uh, a common one would be keeping an eye out for pink eye, no pun intended. That's a pretty common problem with cattle especially once the flies show up. But everybody's looking okay. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 11, 12, 13. So 13 here, plus seven over there, that's 20. So we got four more to find. Where are the other four girls? Oh, there we go, the bells are coming in clutch. Yeah, there we go, I think there's the rest of them. Yeah, here we go. Here are the other four. One, two, 
three and four. See the albino cow in the back there and then the, the black and white one to her left. That's where the bell came in handy. Just standing up the hill here, you wouldn't have seen them cows when they were in the trees. You hear her bell and she was coming because she heard the noise up here. One of the benefits of having bells on cattle. I don't know if you guys remember this heifer when we moved her from the, the calf barn into the, the, the big uh, bull barn. How she was a bit smaller than the rest and she still is kind of petite but it looks like she's doing well. I think uh, being a crossed up breed and being smaller I think she'll last a long time on our operation being shorter to be a great cow for grazing and she should live a long time. It seems like the smaller cows do a lot better on our operation, fit in the stall better. It'll be interesting to see what she looks like after her first couple calves, if she's gonna get bigger or if she'll stay nice and petite like that. Good looking cow. There we go, all 24 are accounted for. That was pretty easy. They're all relatively in the same spot. Sometimes we'll get two or three different groups out here where like the heifers will be in one spot and then the cows will be on the way other end of the farm. Especially if uh, we put cows in here halfway through the year, then they definitely kind of make their own little groups hanging out with whoever they're, they're used to. River, did you enjoy the run? Looks like we're going to need to turn on the water, we'll head up and do that. It's a uh, tank build up. There we go, we got our water flowing. Initially when I started it, it, uh, it stopped pumping after the initial start and i heard the generator kind of surge so i was a little worried i was like i hope nothing happened to the the wellhead or something like that but i think it was on the generator's end i i reset a bunch of stuff on the electrical side of the generator and it's flowing now so yeah there we go then the water slowed down again here yeah we must have something wrong with the generator we'll have to look into that here some more i'm gonna go try resetting some stuff again and See, uh, see what the heck's going on. There we go, we got it flowing once again. I think that's what's going on up there. I don't think it's the well tripping the generator. I think it's the generator tripping itself, just being old and wore out. Cause I was, there's like a reset button on that I was kind of messing with and I could kind of feel it click in and I heard the engine bog down. So that switch might be going bad. So maybe we'll get a new switch or maybe just a whole new generator. I know uh, sometimes it's almost uh, cheaper just to try to cobble together parts you got that aren't necessarily designed for a small engine like that or just go out and buy a whole new small engine so we'll see all right got the generator fueled back up i'm just gonna sit here for a couple minutes and watch it and see what happens hopefully it keeps on running but just uh something we'll have to be aware of something to keep an eye on if it does uh stop acting up here and if it doesn't then we'll have to get some parts coming to fix it or look into getting a whole new generator always something been sitting here now for a couple minutes and i i think we're good everything seems to be running smooth we'll just have to make a note of it to keep an eye on it let's head back down to the farm and we might uh they might already be done with chores now doing all this messing around but if they're not we'll help them let out the cows and clean up them. We are back down in the yard. Dad, he's working on some small engines by the shop along with Mason. He just got a moped. But uh, I'm going to let the cows out here. They've been cleaning up their feed from this morning. Get these girls outside and back on the grass. Mason brought his moped up by the barn. Tell the people what you got. Pretty sweet looking rig. 
right here we got 50 cc's of pure Japanese power. It's a 1986. Um, it goes about 25 miles an hour when you're lucky. He's got the, uh, the added fuel tank on the back. You, guys see you get that. over a hundred miles to the gallon, but I ain't got quite a gallon tank yet, so I can't really go unbelievably far. But I think yesterday I put on like 40 miles. Yeah, he's got a biker gang going here. All the all the kids from his class. How many bikes you guys got now? I think there's four of us running, and one of us just went down with their ship. Well, oh. he didn't go down with the ship. The ship's down, but yeah, I think he blew a rod or something in it. Uh oh. Engine swap or something here. Yeah, put a big board kit in it or whatnot. Zoom in with this. Yeah. Thanks for sharing your uh, your purchase with us. Let us know if any of you have something like this. It's worth the money. Sweet, sure. sweet little bike. Rev her up a little before we leave here. Come on. Look out, world. Mason's here. All right, that's gonna be it for the video. Thank you for sticking to the end. Just a nice little uh, video of doing daily morning chores here on the farm. And we got a nice look at Mason's uh, moped. I uh, hope that works out. It's a sweet looking bike. Makes me wanna get a motorcycle again. Yeah, if you guys like mopeds, hit that like button. Yeah, make sure to subscribe, comment, and uh, check out our other videos. Also, they can check us out on what? TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. Facebook. Yeah. We got it all. Yeah, we got a P.O. box too if you ever wanted to send us mail, but that's going to be it. Make sure to check out all our other videos.